I am Slick Nick. Here's my newest theory. I just created it. If a man is physically fit, he also tends to be well-dressed. I'm not saying all the time, but I'm saying the majority, those two things are going to find hand in hand. Now, let's be very clear. When I say well-dressed, I don't mean he goes around walking around in a suit and tie. I mean that when he walks into the room, the guy that's physically fit tends to be the best man dressed in the room or one of the better men dressed in the room. He's not looking sloppy. He has a pretty good fashion sense. And I want to reference a movie that's not great, but it's worth watching, Crazy Stupid Love with Ryan Gosling and Steve Carell, where Ryan Gosling's character basically mentors Steve Carell's character into becoming physically more attractive. And I want to do a little demonstration here. So one of the things he brings to Steve Carell's attention, which by the way, Steve Carell, Carell the actor, he's the same height as me. He's also five foot nine. It just happens to be that way. So this is a size medium shirt. Like I said, most men, that's probably what's going to look right on them. Whereas this is a size large. Now I still have clothes in my closet that are large. I got rid of like two or three garbage bags full of clothes a couple months ago. Um, as you all know, I've been on keto. I've lost a lot of weight. I've kept it off. A lot of fat, I want to be specifically. I lost a lot of fat. And it put me in a situation where my clothes were just too baggy. And I physically didn't feel comfortable wearing them. And turns out they're also, they don't look as good on me. So this is a size large shirt on me for a guy who really should be wearing size medium. So we can see that the sleeves actually, you know, come out halfway through my hand usually here. And even if the shirt was tucked in, it's still, you can clearly see that if this is, look how wide the shirt actually is. This is just a regular large, size large shirt. Look how wide that is. So already that's ridiculous. It look, makes me think of uh, the girl on Willy Wonka when she swells up to be a blueberry. In reality, this is my body. This is, this is my torso. So this versus this. So by default, if you're wearing a size large, it's probably looking too baggy on you. So let's see if you can notice this subtle transformation. For me wearing a size large shirt, which is, it's not a tent on me, but it is the wrong size shirt. Okay, there you go, there's your last view of that. Now I'm going to let you see again the shirt I was already wearing. I get it that it's a short sleeve shirt, but the whole focus is on the torso here so that you can see that. So now we're gonna look at the size medium. And already, Things are looking better. I understand that maybe I shouldn't be, uh, you know, in front of a light gray wall. That would have helped the contrast if I had a different color. But now you can see that there's, even when I pull the shirt out, it doesn't come out as far. It's more, it's, it's slimming in other words. So wearing slimming clothes is part of that fashion sense and knowing that. Because I would never be here to tell anyone, hey, you should spend a lot of money on clothes. I'm actually here to not tell you that. I, you all know I go to Marshalls. I get, I get name brand stuff really cheap. That's actually like, let's see what, I think this is like, what is this brand here? Denim and something? I'll, I'll find out. Let's find out what the shirt is. Because, you know, this is, I think, supposed to be a $30 shirt and I got it for maybe $13. let us take a look at what this is. Denim and Flower, Ricky Singh. Yeah, I've got several of uh, these shirts here. And here's a size medium t-shirt. So imagine, and I've looked back at other photos of myself before I switched to medium. And you can even look at it, songs that I, I wrote before my transformation and where I'm wearing a t-shirt. And the sleeves come down to here. And the sleeves are wider. So it's all about that slimming effect. That has a lot to do with it. But specifically in the movie, Crazy Stupid Love, and, and I've, I've always felt this way. I've always been aware of this. That, that what's the epitome of bad fashion for a man? The epitome as far as how he's dressed. Uh, I would say an oversized polo shirt tucked into light khaki pants that are, that are pleated. And then he's wearing New Balance uh, running shoes. That's just the epitome of everything awful and boring. Uh, and that's specifically referenced in the movie. And I've been talking about this for years. So if you wanna, I think it's an interesting concept for the movie. Overall, the movie, I'd give it like a B minus. 
crazy stupid love. But it's worth watching and it's very relevant and it basically backs up the way I've always felt about all this. So, do you agree with my theory? That typically, if a man is physically fit, he also typically dresses nice as well. And by nice, I don't mean expensive. I mean he wears slimming clothes that are, that are modern, that he puts some effort into it, and that people notice that, that those go hand in hand. Being physically fit and dressing nice typically are one and the same. Because if you have a decent physique, you're not gonna wanna hide it behind baggy clothes. So like for example, as much as we all love him, Adam Sandler, he's someone who, my wife and I were watching Spanglish last night, and she said, he's always sitting down in this movie. And I said, and he's always wearing like baggy clothes, like baggy dress shirts that aren't tucked in to baggy pants, and it's just, it just kind of, but it hides the fact that he's not physically fit. I'm not putting him down for that, he's a great person. Great entertainer. But that's part of his look. Because, proving my point here, if you're physically fit, you have a good fashion sense, or you at least figure it out. It's not about how much you spend, it's a matter of making the most of what you've got. And that's always one of my theories on here being as red pilled as I am. I'm not black pilled, I'm not blue pilled. It's all about that red pill. It's all about what's different. What could I be doing different to work with what I have without having to? pay a lot of money to some corporation or something like that to believe that I'm not good enough. I mean, in some ways, we're not good enough, but we can evolve I and mean, we focus on what we can control, not on what we can't. Do you agree with my theory? Your comments belong right here.